Hello everyone, it's Angela from The Chaotic Life of a Planner. Welcome to my channel. So I have here in front of me my Erin Condren Life Planner. This is the hourly neutral version. I do have links down below to all the products that I'm going to be using in today's video. And if you're new to Erin Condren, there is also a referral code that you can sign up for to save $10 off your first purchase. So now that we've gotten that behind us, in today's video, I'm going to be planning out the week of March 2nd to March 8th. As you can see, I've done my pre-planning. This isn't everything that we have going on, but this is kind of the things that are not normal for us. And it's not a whole lot. So let's get to it. Um, before I start, let me go ahead and tell you guys that my lighting is a little off because we're still in the middle of our basement remodel. So I'm noticing there's some weird shadows and whatnot. And I tried to do the best that I could to get rid of that, but it's just how it's gonna be for, well, I'm hoping not too much longer. I need to ask the contractors if they kind of can tell me when we're gonna be done with this because I am not handling this so well. But Without further ado, let's get to it. So I, I have a planner cake kit here that I'm going to be using, and this is mini kit 217. I have sheet C, and you might ask, what happened to your kit, Angela? It looks like that had some water damage, and it did. I had this kit on a little side table in my studio, and something happened in the shower upstairs that caused... A little bit of leakage yeah and it landed right on my kit but I decided I'm still gonna use it it's not terrible you guys know if you have been around my channel for any length of time that I don't order a whole bunch of kits at once I usually just order a few weeks worth of kits and that's what happened this time is this is pretty much my last planner cake kit that I can use and it's okay I'm ordering more kits today so I'll be fine but it meant that I if I wanted to use a planner cake kit for today's plan with me I needed to go ahead and use this one that had sustained some water damage and I still don't have my white out I need to grab that if I can find it or just buy some new white out because it is in the mess that is caused from our basement remodel right now Okay, so I went ahead and added my date covers. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is add my washi down here. And I'm going to use this here. I did not purchase the thick washi from this kit, but it's totally fine. It doesn't matter because it will still look cute if I do it like this. I've been doing this for the last couple of weeks and I really like the look. And then I think I'll just go ahead and do this one down here. I kind of feel like I'm finally like getting into my planning groove. I've been using my life planner here for like my weekly view, but then I've been using the Erin Condren daily binder pages and I'm actually really liking them. I like them better than the petite planner, even though I wish I could like the petite planner more because it is a little bit more of a portable system, but I just love the layout from the daily binder pages, even though I'm not using them in the actual Erin Condren binder because for some reason um, the holes are not as big, so they don't turn that well, but that's okay. I'm sure they will address that at some point. Okay, so this is what I decided to do rather than worry about the whiteout that is currently missing. There's that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and use these little asterisks right here. This is where I try to mark my Instagram content for the week. When I use it the way it's supposed to be used, it actually works really well, but sometimes you guys, I'm just lazy, I guess. All right, so there is that. I think that's cute, nice and bright. 
And we're gonna go ahead and do the bottom on this page. Let me move this up so you guys can see. When the contractors helped me, which I, I should mention that they have been wonderful as far as like helping me move things out of the way that were too heavy for me. Like this table that I film on is so heavy and I have moved it by myself before, but that was when we had carpet. So I didn't have to worry about scratching a floor or anything like that. So I had taken everything out of my studio except for, I have two of these workbenches um, that I work on. So when the contractors got here to work on this room, I needed them to help me carry them out. And they did. They totally just carried them out into the family room and it worked fine. However, I had um, like a white, oh, I don't even know what it's called. I got it on a roll. I think I got it from Joann's, um, like the white covering that I use, like the paper covering that I use for filming. And they did not think that it was something that was like salvageable, I guess I should say. So they just crumbled it up and threw it in the trash. So I need to get a new covering for my table now. And that's fine. It's only a few bucks and I'm not really worried about it. However, that means that I don't have the background for filming. So I have to film on this light colored table. So when you do the thin washi this way, like when I use it up here and then I, as well as down here, it uses the whole sheet, which actually really makes me happy because I feel like I'm making effective use of the stickers that I purchased. So I like that. Go ahead and put my asterisk down. Next thing I'm going to do is the weekend banner. Somebody asked me a question about if my craft knife that I use to trim my washi cuts through my pages. And it doesn't as long as you use a light touch. Now I have cut through my pages when I haven't been careful. I'm gonna go ahead and stick this weekend banner down right now, but I actually may not use it because it did sustain quite a bit of water damage. And I actually just purchased this sheet of weekend stickers from Caffeinated Kate's printable shop. I just can't use them yet because I actually haven't cut them on my Cricut. So, but one of these might look cute. But for now, I will go ahead and use the one that came with this kit. And then, I mean, it does have quite a bit of water damage, but we'll see. We will see if I keep it or not. All right, so I'm gonna use this little lollipop looking sticker for my sidebar. I think it is adorable. And I'm going to use this to-do sticker. I did not get the hourly add-on, so I don't have the, oh no, 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 no. I don't have the task bars. And that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and use this ombre box right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ombre box. And then I think I'm just going to go ahead and do this how I have done it a bazillion times in the past. I'll add this week's sticker. This will be my habit tracker. And then this will be my step counter. And I'll have to do something to cover up these stickers right here, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the week. So all I have on Monday is we will be at Alaska. 
All right, let me think about this for a second here. trying to think about what I want to do for my meal planning and I kind of wanted to actually use a sticker for my meal planning this week but I don't have enough of the same sticker actually let's see what this looks like There's that one, and let me go ahead and grab my knives and forks. Hmm. Well, I think it'll work just fine, so let's just go ahead and do that. And then all of my meals will be marked for the week. So anyways, while I'm doing this, Monday, we will be skiing in Alaska. I'm not sure if I'm going to ski yet. My husband wants me to, but that will mean that somebody will have to watch Lucas while I'm skiing. So that means that somebody will have to miss out. So we'll see. But I guess I could just do a couple of runs. That wouldn't really be a huge deal. I know I have some more of these stickers, these little page flags, so I may go ahead and replace that one later, but I think it'll be fine for now. So we're going to go to one of our favorite restaurants called Chair 5 while we are at the ski lodge. It's just a short drive from the lodge, like honestly you could walk there if we didn't have the baby we, and it wasn't cold we probably would just walk there they have really good pizza and burgers and whatnot so the kids really enjoy going there so we will do that monday night that'll kind of be like our splurge dinner all right so there is my meal planning and then I'll just go ahead and use this sticker right here just to notate that this will be a ski day. So Tuesday we will Tuesday morning early we'll leave the ski lodge. And then Lucas has an appointment. I didn't write it in, I thought I put it in my phone, but I can't find it. So I'm not exactly sure what time his appointment is, but we will go ahead and use just one of these appointment labels. I think that it's at 11, but I'm hoping that someone, well, I know that they'll probably call Michaela and give her a reminder call, so that should work out fine. And then we'll be driving home, so I may go ahead and add in my road trip sticker here. Wednesday is Liberty's birthday, which is super exciting. So I'm going to wait to mark that because as you can see, I was going to use this big box right here and it's not in good shape. So I'll use this. Actually, I won't. I will use... I'm going to go ahead and use one of these damaged yellow page flags because I'm going to put the youth group sticker over the top of that. And this youth group sticker sheet that I have is from Fern Creek Stickers. It's sheet S59. I've really been enjoying all of the stickers that I've gotten from Fern Creek lately. I know she's having a big sale next week and I'm super stoked about that. Okay, so other than marking Liberty's birthday on Wednesday, that's done. She wants to bring cupcakes to her school that day. So let's use these little page flags right here to mark Liberty's school. So I'm going to leave this here so I don't forget to go back and do something for her birthday. 
This is school, and actually the school is the only thing that we have going on on Thursday, which is very odd, but good because my husband is planning to install the master bedroom flooring before he goes back to work. We went to Lowe's and picked that up last night, so that's good. So we're going out to dinner with our friends on this day. And I will use this lightly damaged sticker <laughs> to mark that. And probably so I'm gonna head and added this little heart icon right there. And then Saturday, we have nothing at this point. We may actually go to um, the ice festival, the ice, I can't remember what it's called right this very second, where they carve ice sculptures out of really big blocks of ice. That's what we might go see on Saturday. Oh goodness, I have not had enough coffee yet this morning. I'm trying to film a couple of videos before we leave for the weekend. And um, I've had a lot of interruptions because I, Apparently should have gotten up to do this while my children were all sleeping peacefully in their beds. All right, so we have 11 a.m. church. I'm going to use this sticker sheet from Fern Creek. This is S56. And then we have Awana. Actually, I don't have a one, but Liberty does, so I have that. All right, let's see what that's looking like. Let me zoom you guys out a little bit. All right, that's pretty much it for the week, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and add in some extra stickers like, let's see, planner time. Let's go ahead and do planner time. I'll aim for Friday morning. Oh, look at it. It's daylight savings time on Sunday. I knew that was coming up soon. Let's go ahead and do grocery time, which will probably be. Wednesday when Liberty's at school. And then I will also mark a laundry day, which will, well, we'll mark laundry day over here because I might not have time on Wednesday since Liberty's birthday. All right, so now I'm going to go through my stickers and see what else I can pull out. I do have these film edit uploads, but I'm just not sure what that's going to look like since I will not be here. So I guess I can do an upload on, I don't like the way that looks actually, but I'm gonna use it anyways. Let's do an upload on Monday. And that will probably be this video right here. And then I'm going to need to film Wednesday's video still, but I actually do know what it will be. I just need to, actually I need to pick up the package from the post office since they have decided that they will no longer deliver to me, which I cannot blame them, packages anyways, because I have a dog that they startled and she kind of nipped their pants. So I completely understand, but in her defense, the mailman was on my porch when I let her outside and she was startled. But regardless, now they will not deliver me packages, so I have to pick them up and I got the package notice today but I can't pick it up until tomorrow which is definitely a drag to have to wait. Okay so I'm going to move this one up 
so that all of my YouTube stickers are on the same time slot. And I actually have no idea what Friday's video will be yet. I need to spend a little bit of time planning out my content for the month of March still. But I know I haven't filmed it, which means I haven't edited it. But that's okay. I'll figure it out. I have quite a few ideas. It's just whether or not I have actually time to do it when we're, since we're still in remodel mode. All right. So I went ahead and pulled out a few stickers that I can use. So I've got this clean fridge one right here because I will need to clean out the fridge. Well, probably before I go grocery shopping. So actually I'm gonna mark clean fridge Tuesday night when we get home. I've got this little road trip sticker right here. So how do I want to mark this? That works for that. Thursday I'm going to mark unpack because I likely will not get to it before then, unfortunately. So I am pretty much done with this week. Um, I did have to take a little bit of a break because I think my battery died or something like that. So we're actually back from our trip. It's Tuesday night. I'm going to try and get this edited and uploaded for tomorrow, which is Wednesday the 4th, but we'll see anything. Um, I do need to go ahead and pay bills tomorrow, so I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. It seems as though there was something else that I needed to mark, but for the life of me, I cannot remember what it is right now. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and call this one good. So I do have links to everything that I have used in this video down below. I really, really, really appreciate everyone who has clicked on my affiliate links and placed orders through Erin Condren. That is helping to support my channel and I'll be talking to you guys about that probably within the next month or so. So I am excited about that. If you're new to Erin Condren, there's also a referral code that you can use to save $10 off your first purchase. You sign up for it, they email you the link, you order that way. It's pretty seamless. It works well. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!